Welcome to Corporal's Corner. Today we're going to bushcraft some candle holders, so stick around. A lot of people still carry candles, some for nostalgia and some for other reasons. So I thought today, why not show you a quick, easy way to bushcraft some candle holders while you're out in the field. And the best part is, this design right here can be scaled up or down to your liking or even your shelter size. And it includes a reflector that can double as a windscreen. So all you're gonna need for this project is a roll of number 36 bank line, candle of your choice, and a piece of dead wood. Now preferably tulip poplar, but it doesn't have to be. As long as it's dry and dead and you can remove this outer bark, you should be good to go. Okay, so what we're looking at here is a piece of dead wood. And it can be the wood of your choice. It doesn't really matter. The important thing is that it's dead. And the reason why I want to work with dead wood is because what happens to wood when it's green and you cut it? Everything wants to shrink on you. So it's good to remove these materials after they're already dead. So that way when you adjust your candle holder, it won't loosen up on you. So what I'm looking at right here is a good no less than one inch strip, no more than two inches. And I want to go down and probably about a foot in length and cut it off. Just be as careful as you can doing this. Good to go. Now from this point right here, all we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this outer bark. You gotta do it carefully because you don't wanna go ahead and cut through this. You wanna try to remove this material and basically reduce the width by about half so that it becomes flexible. All right, so we're pretty flexible right here. So starting towards the middle, all I'm gonna do is just slowly bend it. Twist it back and forth. And just soften that material up. What we're going for is we wanna go ahead and get the diameter of our candle so we can wrap it around our candle. Just be patient, take your time. And work this thing around. So you start to bend already. You don't want to hear any cracking, so try to avoid that. Just slow it down and work it in the shape of that candle. Now if you can find a smaller diameter branch, you can go ahead and get a smaller piece off of it. This will act as a reflector. So all we're going to do is look at this where the candle would line up at, towards the base right here, and make a small incision back here on the back side of this bark, and slide it through.
so far so good, we're almost done. I found a pole, about a good inch and a quarter diameter, about five foot in length, tapered off one end. My opposite end, I'm gonna go ahead and baton this. I wanna split the wood, I only wanna split it down about a good inch and a half, maybe two inches at most. So to split the wood, all we're gonna do, we're gonna split it the same way we would for a frog gig. Except for doing it twice, we're only gonna do it once. Locate the approximate halfway point. So now very carefully, we'll slide our candle holder into our crack, and then lash it off right here with a straight lash so it doesn't move. So take our number 36 bank line, all we're going to do is make a bite. Place it on here. I'm just going to wrap it around towards that loop. Keeping it tight. Taking my excess, I'm going to pass it through that loop. Grab my opposite end and pull it through. Outstanding. Now keep in mind, this design right here can be scaled up or down to your liking. Now should you decide to use green wood, like I mentioned before, it has a tendency to shrink over time, causing everything to loosen up, so just keep that in mind. As usual, thank you for your comments, views, and support. Thanks for watching. Get out in the field, have some fun. I'm going to catch you next time.